Alright, my man, state your name, let them know you on Nick TV. TV. It's your boy G5, you already know who it is. What's, What's the latest it? thing that you see that's happening with these New York Knicks that you want to talk about, man? Well, let's see, let's see. Victor Oladipo, people, what y'all think about that? Hit those comments, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Mm, think he's coming to, this, on, to the New York Knicks? We need those comments. Think he's coming to the New York Knicks? Ah, uh, rumors, yeah. Yeah? Tim likes him, you know Tim Tebow, man. Right? Yeah. The coach likes him, so. How you feel about that? That's a good move. That's a bull. That's an animal. And who we got to give up for that? Well, actually, he's a free agent. So, mm. that's why I'm sitting here with the old depot. Mm. He's a free agent this year. We ain't got to give up nothing for him. And you like that? That's a good That's a good pickup. You like that over Chris Paul? You know, I just seen something online that said the same thing. Chris Paul or Victor old depot. How about both? Can't have both. <laughs> Yeah, we could. We but, could. but let's break down each but, one of them. Let's Chris break Paul, down both of their games, though. Chris Paul? Let's start oh, with him. All right, Chris Paul's a point guard. Vic Oladipo's a small shooting guard slash small forward. So, it's a big difference in the game. Vic Oladipo, he has that Jimmy Butler mentality. Right. I like that dog. I don't know if his, his training and work ethic is up there because... We won't know maybe he's injured. Right. So we don't know there. But out of him and Chris Paul, I could take both. Where RJ. That'd be, that's a nice pick pick. You gotta look at that. Yeah. Hit those comments. Hit those but let's comments. say on a on a perfect day. On, on a, a perfect, perfect blue and orange day, we got Chris Paul and Vic. Do you think with Vic the, with that outshadow RJ? We no, need to be no, 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 no. There won't be no outshine at RJ. You know why I say they won't outshine RJ? With CPD running the point, there's no outshine at RJ. And the chemistry think. between Victor and RJ, is that going to work? That'll be a good pickup. They're both overseas players. See, so it's like they'd be a perfect pickup. One's from Canada, one's from Africa, or France. All of people's France. Yeah, we got draft people from France. So. That's, that'd be a good, good move. The, the, the game play, they play similar. And what changes in the offense do you think would take place if Victor was to come this way to the New York Knicks? We would have an um, efficient 20 point score every game. You think so? Victor Oladipo, yeah. Yeah. You put him with Paul George, like neck to neck. He's that good. If anybody think I'm wrong, you know. But y'all know what he's capable of. He's an all-star now. He, he, he did his numbers. Okay, and who's going to be our sixth man behind that? Because we're going to, the position's going to change. You six got Victor on the squad. You know, it's going to be some changes it's, in the month. It is. It's going to be like Knox might be gone. We might be losing. Well, I'm mad I'm here. Dennis Smith Jr. might be gone. I actually like the kid. You like the Dennis Smith over Frank, right? Yeah, you know, everybody knew that. I like the Dennis Smith. Yeah. But I heard in the comments, they were like, oh, you man, bitch, why are you going that bitch so hard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, look, but y'all, on those comments, uh -huh. I wasn't lying. I told you it was going to be like that. But I wasn't lying. Half of the people agreed with me. If you notice, I'm like, hey, yeah, you're right. But it's only two years in. But like I said, this is third season. I don't want to hear it. There's no excuses no more. No excuses. But you act no like the man ain't contributing to anything. He's, what is he contributing to? Blocks? Rebounds? I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. He shoots more than Frank. His shoot percentage is higher than Frank. And his blocking is, is more than Frank. He better block. He better shoot more than Frank. He gets the ball more than Frank. Right. He's getting the rebounds. He should be able to go right back up. I mean, that's where the shot is coming from. Rebounds going right back up. I mean, I heard people say, oh, let him develop. It's the whole development. I, I can't say it like that. Because when I look at other centers, they, they, by the third year, they were solidified. Like, literally, I mean, solidified as their name means something. They're going to bring something to the team, to the culture, the NBA, and everything. All right. I just see Mitch going down and down. Probably because he's on the Knicks. Probably we have to let him go for him to really prosper. Alright y'all, and that's what it is. We're gonna keep this short on a rainy day. Yeah, it's a rainy day, people. 
like, subscribe, and I'm noticing a lot of people liking, but they not commenting. This man, Nick, is doing a hell of a job out here in these streets, y'all. Well, oh, I appreciate that, man. So y'all got to go ahead and give this man more respect and give him more likes so he can get up there. The numbers is up there, bro. We get 500s. All right. We need so, thousands. We want thousands of thousands. Yeah. We got to go grab an NBA player for y'all. Don't say that, because they're going to say, hell's yeah. Then we're going to do it. All right, let's get it done. Y'all can't mess with me if you want to. We'll be on downtown looking for these motherfuckers. All right, man, we out. Peace, Peace. out, y'all.